Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, Final Cut, and today we're going to take a look at Wrath of the Titans, the sequel to the remake of Clash of the Titans, but not to be confused with the animated Wrath of the Titans, which came out after the original Rat Clash of the Titans. Anyway, this live-action film is starring Sam Worthington once again as Perseus, only he did not give in to the god side uh, after, uh, you know, the events of the first one. He did not give in to his god side and be a god like his father before him. No, he decided to be a farmer and a pl just live his life as a human, have a wife and a kid and a picket fence. Well, there's no picket fence, but he does have a kid. Wife is a little bit absent from the scene, but he's living his life, and fate has a you know, a different turn for him as we find out the gods are weak and they're disappearing because nobody's praying to him after, after the whole Kraken thing. Nobody's really praying to him anymore. Well, in an event to to stay living and surviving as gods, Ares and Hades betray Zeus, capture him, and use him in a plot to raise Kronos, the big huge titan that they all captured in Tartarus originally, so uh, they can release him upon the world so he can eliminate the humans and in in back pay, uh, you know, in payment for doing this, Kronos said that he's going to let the gods be immortal for, okay? So that's the plot of this story. How good is this movie? Well, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed this as much as the first one, okay? Uh, there's not a lot of depth in this. No depth. Puddle, okay? Puddle for character depth, all right? Uh, I will warn you that now. Uh, they add a number of new characters, and only one of them's really developed. It's the son of Poseidon, but they kind of have to because he plays a little more intricate role. But still, the rest of the added characters could be here and gone. You wouldn't give a leap about any of them. You barely care about Perseus. But it is a fun action film. I had a feeling like I was watching the old Jason and the Argonauts and the old uh, Seven Voyage of Sinbad films, okay? Yeah, complete with Cyclops. He had Cyclops battles in here, okay? I felt I was watching sort of that type of film crossed with a Gods of War video game, okay? So it was kind of like Jason and the Argonauts crossed with Gods of War video game, uh, which I, I love uh, God of War. Movie, uh, video game, movie, video game. It's like a movie, isn't it? Anyway, another story. Wrath of the Titans, though, is a lot of great action sequences. You don't need to see it in 3D, okay? The special effects were great. I loved seeing all the monsters on there. A lot of people I know have been panning it, and it depends on what you're expecting. If you're not expecting anything like I did, you'll be uh, enjoying this film immensely. If you're expecting something more and deep than... Well, yeah, no, never mind. Oh, another thing, though, uh, you can see the fights in this one. Unlike the first one where they were a lot more close up, this one, for most of the fight scenes, uh, you can actually tell what was going on, okay, except for one in the maze. So, overall, this gets the same rating as the first one. Three and a half stubs. Not a fantastical film, but it was uh, enjoyable. If you like those types of films, they're all Ray Harryhausen, Argonaut type movies. You'll enjoy this, okay? You sit down and turn your brain off. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets done.